Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? So, Alas is your father? Yes. And yes, he is the leader of the Red Scribes. That's handy for you. You are so predictable. Daddy's little girl can do whatever she wants, right? Don't fool yourself. I'm endlessly having to prove myself more than any other scribe. My father doesn't treat me better than the others, and I expect no less from him. At least that explains why you look like you just stepped out of a library. I guess he encourages you? Yes, of course. But I'm big enough to make my own choices. Knowledge fascinates me. And I suppose it would have been like that whoever my father was. Can you tell me more about your order? Of course. The Red Scribes are an order of sages. Our quest is to find the answers to all the great mysteries of this world. And so you know about magic? We study magic from an essentially theoretical viewpoint. But we're not an order of magicians. Even though some of us practice healing magic, but we have nothing to do with the destructive power magic used by the Lords of the Frozen Shadows. And we know very little about that domain, unfortunately. I see. But that doesn't mean you can't research it, huh? Obviously. Especially now. Any knowledge which would help us turn this war around would be helpful. But according to our archives, we were already studying magic more than five centuries ago. Oh, really? What do you know about the Ice Lords? As much as it is possible to know without having met them. In some ways, they're quite fascinating even though the term might seem inappropriate. Perfect. How do we kill him? <laughs> if I knew that, do you think I would keep it to myself? But I can tell you this, we do believe it's possible. We know that there are seven lords. Black Storm, Lady Crystal, Marshall Winters, the White Lady, Lord Blackfrost, the Chiller, and the Ice Duchess. Everybody knows that. We've had our asses kicked by them enough. For sure. But in the past, there were more of them. Some scrolls talk of nine or a dozen, even of thirty lords. Of course it's confusing. And I doubt they would have freely given the information of how to kill one of them. But you can bet that some of them have died. We just have to discover how. Where did they come from? Most people believe that the lords appeared recently, at the beginning of the war. But I have found certain scrolls that lead me to believe they have been around more than 300 years. They are originally from a region far to the north of Vertiel. For a long time, they remained there. The beginning of their conquest is quite recent. We all think that the war started 10 years ago, but in fact, it is much longer. Maybe even the last century. It took them a long time to escape from their region of origin. The dwarf kingdoms were in their way, and they put up a fight. <laughs> you had me going there for a moment. I'm sorry, but dwarves? Save it for the children. But you're wrong. The dwarves did exist, but the Ice Lords exterminated them. Right. And I bet they also massacred all those poor dragons and goblins. <laughs> you know that dragons and goblins don't exist? You're impossible. Do they have any weaknesses that we could exploit? Not that I know of. All of the Ice Lords are powerful sorcerers. They are far more powerful than all the other magicians. They have an unlimited army. If they have a weakness, it's not that. But in spite of all of this, you think there is something? I do. We often imagine the Ice Lords as a vast megalithic power. But that's not true. In fact, they desperately hunger for power. Just because they pulled their powers to create the Deadwalker army doesn't mean they like each other. Their balance of power is precarious. As soon as they are done with destroying Vergil, they'll probably start killing each other. Sure, but that doesn't help us much if we have to wait until they're done. Perhaps there is a way to stir up the tensions between them. Even if for the moment, I can't think how. Let's change the subject. Do you know what happened to me in the temple? I'm still searching for an explanation. Something must have gone wrong during the ritual. But what was the god's damn ritual supposed to do? The Red Scribes have always had quite limited magical skills. 
I believe that the ritual was meant to increase their magical powers to try and find a way of combating the Ice Lords. But instead of channeling pure energy into each of the scribes, the ritual called forth a conscience that settled in you. Your father called it a demon. How come I got stuck with it? A demon? That reminds me of the old text. But I couldn't say if that's what it is. You were standing right there, so that force flowed into you. It could have been my father, or any of us, I guess. Well, that's just great. What do I do now? I would dearly like to help you. But even though I have searched through all the texts I have here, I can find no reference to anything like this experience of yours, at least for now. But until we have found out more, you must try to fight against this thing. Do not allow it to get comfortable. We don't know what its intentions are or how powerful it is. It could be dangerous for you. So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? I have discovered a few things about the small chrysalids. They are much faster, but it seems that they can only attack from close up, using their pinchers. I also noticed that the medium-sized chrysalids were slower than small ones, but they, however, can fire tiny projectiles. So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? Well, I'd really like to meet some of these creatures who live here, but for now... What can you tell me about the World Heart? Many of the people on Vertiel believe that the World Heart is just a myth. There are many different beliefs from one region to another, but most of them have more in common than not. The World Heart is where life and prosperity are born. I've already heard that crap. If we were to imagine Vertiel as a living being, the World Heart is exactly what it sounds like, the heart of the world. It's what keeps the world alive. It beats, and Vertiel lives from its energy. If you wish, I can try to learn more about it. Come back and see me in a few days. So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? Well, I'd really like to meet some of these creatures who live here. But for now... We need to talk about your combat style. What do you want me to do? In fact, you fight just great. Don't change a thing. Uh, all right.
taken over again here in the swamp, but I sense there is something else. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? Well, I'd really like to meet some of these creatures who live here. But for now... something? No, I mean, it's not a big deal. I just 